We once let's hit on Georgia Auburn really quick. There's not much to say here. It, it was just a it was a, it was a woodshed kind of game, and expe- <laughs> exactly what we expected out of Auburn in this situation because Georgia's defense is just absurd, absolutely absurd. Uh, I don't know even what to say. Like Auburn gained 318 yards, but Georgia has this ability to play a bend don't break defense if they want to. But they also have the ability to play don't bend and don't break defense. Like they can shut you down when they want to. They can create turnovers. They can. It, they're awesome. The Auburn's entire offense this season has been running the football. They only had 46 yards rushing on 29 attempts in this game. Backyard Bo was able to do some some crazy stuff in this game. He had 272 yards passing, but this was well not him. I, I take that back. T.J. Finley had a few yards and whatnot, but uh, but Bo Nix. 21 out of 38, 217 yards. He did have the one pick. George is awesome. And and Stetson Bennett, uh, as much as everybody dogged him last year, like he is the saving grace here. Hey, but let me get your thought on this. Before the game, Kirby said that JT Daniels, like it's a pain tolerance issue. Like basically he's been cleared, he's good to go, but it's just like how much pain can he play with? I... So I know you got to be careful with like obliques and, and lats and, and all that kind of stuff, right? Because you don't want it to be a, a longer injury. But I'm I'm real curious. Like, does the team side with Stetson because he's he's out there? Like, it, it, does this become a locker room issue later on down the down the line? Why would you make a change? I don't I don't think you should. It's been, like, okay. Stetson Bennett has been incredible. Fourteen out of twenty one, two hundred thirty one yards right. passing and two Un- touchdowns. Until until we get in a game, until we're actively in a game. And we're struggling to to have an offense. Why would you make a change? I don't. I don't think you would. Okay. I don't think you would. So so so. There's no need in even talking about the other guy. So really, it just, are, it just doesn't matter. Are we are we basically saying that uh, that JT Daniels is not the starter un- until well, yes? Like, I I just find it a little strange. Like he's supposed to be the guy, and I don't think he's the guy. I, I don't know Stetson's why you would make a change. No, the mailman is the guy for Georgia. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.